Wow. Hey, what's up guys? King Rainy here. Uh, today I'm going to be showcasing my new training pack that I finished called Rainy Grand Champ Striking 1. Um, I uploaded it just a few days ago and I, I talked to Durkin trying to get him to, uh, to, to put it in the featured training pack page. And uh, he suggested that I make a, a quick video showcasing it. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so for, for this training pack, the reason I made it, uh, it was inspired by Lion Blaze, uh, top, top 1v1 players like Lion Blaze, The Car, First Killer, Squishy, uh, anyone that has just really good striking from up close. And I, I realized they were, they were good at a certain kind of shot. Uh, for one thing, they had very good car control. They were able to, to get around the ball and just hit bangers every time. Oh, also Killer Regan, he's another, another inspiration for this training pack as well. Really good striking. Um, so the point is to uh, not rush these shots. Uh, almost all of these, if not all of these shots, should be hit after a bounce, not before the bounce. And I positioned the car uh, in ways so that it, uh, it kind of incentivizes you to not go for the shot before the bounce. So what I'm going to be trying to do is get uh, slowly getting around the ball. Don't use too much boost. Just kind of preserve boost. Kind of pretend I was in a uh, pretend pretend I'm in a real game, um, and uh, get around the ball and do a either side flip shot into it, hitting it with the corner of my of my car, or doing a diagonal flip shot also hitting it with the corner of my car. Uh, and I'll I'll show you here now. So for this one, it's pretty close. Starts you close to the ball. Um, my goal is to hit it with the very corner, like that, except I want to be hitting it in the net. I'm trying to get it as powerful as I can. And even let it bounce twice if I want to. Gotta get a good shot before I'm gonna go on to the next one. Here we go. So I want shots like that. I want them to be high and powerful and get as much power as I can, um, considering how close I am to the ball. You'll notice I, I moved my car away from the ball. I kind of drove away from it so I could build space between me and the ball. Uh, so this one, I believe, is just kind of an out wide shot. I'm going to be using a little bit more boost for this one. I'm just going to get around it, take, uh, create some space, and then go around and do a diagonal flip into it. This one might actually be good for a side flip as well if you guys want to try a side flip. I'll, I'll try that real quick. Oof, a little bit wide. You'll see I'm not boosting all the way through it. I'm, I'm kind of like stopping my boost and uh, trying to realize where my car is and and try to find the best way uh, the best time to to really go in and attack the ball that one was a very good one right there Just trying to find kind of the the sweet spot this one's just another close one fairly straightforward get around the ball to a diagonal flip um, something I could implore to you guys is try to do these training packs with, uh, try using ball cam as well. Don't only, uh, do these shots without ball cam because it can be kind of hard to, um, it can be kind of hard to, uh, to, to follow the ball sometimes. Uh, and something I've been working on lately in my 1v1 games is to, to use less, uh, to use more ball cam on my shooting, especially like my bounce dribbles. Oof, kind of a bad timing there. Get one more good one. Decent. Good enough. Another one shot here. You see, I'm, I'm just trying to take my time before I go for the shot. Really trying to wait for a good opportunity. And uh, th these, these kind of opportunities come up in 1v1s quite often where they don't have boost. They can't really challenge you. And you have, you have a lot more boost than them. You have all the space. You can you can just go for the shot immediately, and maybe ruin uh, an opportunity. Uh, ruin an opportunity, but I I feel like it is much better to just kind of take your time and wait for a good shot instead of trying to rush it. Get it around them. Sometimes you can even do a little bounce dribble if you really want to. But I uh, already work enough on that in free play. That was a pretty good one right there. So I tried making this training pack in just a lot of different scenarios of, of these ground shots. Um, I, I 
Oh, I like this one particularly because I start I start the car behind the ball um, to get around it. I can't remember if I usually use ball cam or not on this. This one's very hard for me to time. It's very confusing. But uh, if something is confusing in one of these training packs, that's good because that means uh, you don't know how to do it super easily and you need to be working on it, right? So I, I really like this one in particular because I still have problems with this shot. So one's starting above the car. Once again, no rush. You don't need to go for it immediately. I, you see, like, I immediately uh, drive my car away from the ball and create some space so I can eventually boost into it and get a more powerful shot and get more momentum that way. This one I put in, um, you may see the shot in a lot of other training packs, just off the, off the wall. Um, I didn't really need to add this in, but I wanted to because uh, I personally have a lot of trouble with this kind of shot and I, I want to I want to practice getting around the ball and um, just doing a solid shot because for, these sh for this shot in particular I almost always rush it uh, too fast and I just like slam it right back into the wall. It's very important to get around the ball in that one. Oof. So you see I start the car uh, a little bit up, a little bit in the air so that I can't just like immediately go for a side flip shot into it, right? It, it kind of forces you to take a second to uh, to get around the ball and get a good shot. Part of my shooting, by the way, I'm not... Uh, I literally just woke up, so... <laughs> I am uh, a little bit rusty right now. I'm still warming up. But I will probably be using this training pack very often to, to warm up before I start killing ones or 2v2s. I've noticed so far it's it's really helped with my shooting if whenever I practice it. Try not to rush it too much, just get around the ball. For this one I I, I put the car facing pretty much towards the net while the ball while the ball is going sideways across you. So you have to go back and get around it. I think this is gonna be very helpful for, for kind of teaching car control uh, and ball control as well. Also patience. I really want to learn more patience, and I feel like this will really help me and other people with that. Another one that starts the ball, uh, starts the car up in the air. This one's more of a high bouncing ball, so I, I usually let it bounce twice, get around it as much as I can, and then go for a powerful uh, corner or diagonal flip shot. No rush. That's pretty good. Let's do it one more time. Ah, one more good one. Here we go. No, ideally I'm going to be trying to hit tw uh, hit it into the corners of the goal, but that is that's something I'm probably going to be working on only after I can hit these shots really consistently. As you can tell, I'm still missing uh, I'm still missing them sometimes, and uh, I I don't think I'm going to start working on getting the really accurate shots until after I can hit them in like 90% of the time at least. But of course, it's always going to be better to be aiming for the corners or. Uh, or stuff like that. Try to get the ball high in the air. So powerful shots right now. That's what I'm I'm focusing on. If I hit these really soft, I can probably get them very consistently. But uh, the idea is to duplicate shots like the pros who can hit it super duper fast, very consistently. Once you can do that, once you can hit those shots consistently, then you can start working on the placement. This one's kind of annoying to me because it. I really just want to go for it immediately. Um, let's see if I can let it bounce twice on this. Maybe a front flip shot. That works too. You can also just go for the for it off the bounce. That that works just as well and is uh, just as just as good to work on. I'd say working on bounce shots bounce shots is never a bad thing. Yep, zero percent. That's it for the training pack. I hope you guys like it. I will put the code down in the description. Um, and I hope you guys all have a fantastic day.